Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? We are going to explore one of the most basic things we do on a daily basis on our computer. Copying and pasting. It seems so pedestrian, so boring, but it won't be boring after today for you. Oh no, it won't because we are going to look at alternate ways to copy and paste and up your copying and pasting game today on Dotto Tech. One of the most common things that we do on a daily basis is we copy and paste from one application to another, from one email to another. We are always it, it, copying and pasting. It's, 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 it's become second nature to us. We don't even think about it as we do it, moving different images or, or text from one place to another. But there's a couple of tools that will significantly improve your productivity as far as copying and pasting goes. And there's a huge variety of these tools, to be honest, regardless of whether you use Windows or Mac. If you do a search for utilities and copying and pasting, you'll find a variety of different ways to do things. <clears throat> the two I'm going to take a look at today start with PopClip. This is a Mac only uh, tool and it's uh, unique. There are some tools that do close to what it does in Windows, nothing quite identical. But here's what PopClip does, and I love this, is it anticipates when you are highlighting something that you are going to want to use the clipboard in order to uh, to copy it or paste it or do it somewhere else. So as soon as we start the highlighting process, pop clip kicks in and it gives us some additional options of what we might want to do with it. And it just kind of facilitates the copying and pasting. You see it here in the menu bar, you see it installed and you see that it's got a couple of different little options that it's got kind of uh, identified within it. Let me show you how it looks when you just install it, when you start to work with it. See, it allows you to select text. When you select text, well, it doesn't allow you to select text. The operating system allows you to select text. But when you select the text, look what happens is it pops up this little kind of pop-up selector that allows you to modify what the text does. Now, I've installed a custom uh, pop clip macro that, uh, that allows me to convert from uppercase to lowercase. So, for example, I always accidentally hit the caps lock as I'm typing. I'm sure you do as well. Well, with pop clip, instead of having to retype it, you just highlight the text that you want to uh, want to modify, click on the little tool that will turn it to lowercase, and boom, it changes it to lowercase. And notice it also removes the space. I wonder if that's a glitch or if that's something that I did wrong. At any rate, it saves a lot of time by converting it from uppercase to lowercase. Now, these additional macros are what makes Pop Clip magic. When you install it, if you go under the Pop Clip menu here, if you uh, click on the little plus, you will see a roster of available extensions, they call them. I called it a macro, but they're basically little extensions that you can install in PopClip for free. Now, PopClip itself is a, is a paid app. It's between 5 and $10. Uh, but you can install these tools uh, for things that you often are or things that you're going to want to do when you highlight text. So I added the lowercase one. See, we can add an uppercase one to convert text from up lowercase to uppercase. It's very cool. You simply click on it and download it. And once you've downloaded it, you just have to double click on it in your download and you hear a little audible blink, blink, blink and it has then installed that functionality into PopClip. Take a look. Let's go back under our PopClip menu and now we have converting from lowercase and uppercase. Do you see that? Isn't that cool? So as you go through, you can find all sorts of different things that it will do. A character count. That sounds useful. I, I'd love that, for especially for when you're writing tweets and stuff like that. Let's save that. Let's install it. Oh, let's have a look and see how it is. So that's a character count. So now let's just highlight this text here that I have written up. Let's see if it, when pop clip pops up. Oh, it tells me 163 characters and allows me to convert it all into upper or lowercase. You see how we're now expanding what pop clip does through the use of these extensions. Isn't that sweet? I really like that. So if you take a look, there's like 150 different things that pop clip can do. Oh, it can translate. It'll, it will open Google Translate into a web browser with the selected text. Or you can instantly translate short phrases, and that's powered by Microsoft Translate. Let's try that. I've never seen that before. I'm going to try instant translate. You are on a journey of discovery with me. Okay, so option for instant text. Destination language, I want to turn everything into French. Okay, so now we've got the instant translator in Included. So let's see about translating into a different language. Come on. One thing about it is it doesn't always pop up instantly. There it is. Now it pops up. And there's the, is that the translate right there? Yeah, instant translate. 
click on it, it has to think for a second because it's not, oh, there we go, and there's the translation. <laughs> it translated it into Francais immediately. That's really useful, especially if you're constantly communicating with people in a single language. I mean, Google Translate works well, but having it in the copy and paste functionality, pretty sweet. So I think you get an idea and you're going to want to spend some time playing with it. It will take your text and it will send it to your to-do apps or to your calendar apps. It, it links to a variety of different apps where it will interact with. It will take your text and it will post it to social media automatically all from that little menu bar that pops up when you when you when you highlight text so it's it's pretty functional and pretty fun and i believe that it really extends what you can do through copy and paste just making you a little bit more productive just one or two things are probably what's going to resonate for you and it's going to make the make you that much more efficient for me the uppercase lowercase thing alone makes it worth worth installing so that is called pop clip now a little bit more traditional most keyboard uh sorry most um clipboard utilities do what copy clip does and what that is is it creates a multi-clip keyboard a multi-clip uh environment where you don't just have the last thing that you copy and pasted in and available to you but in fact you have uh, a whole series now copy clip if, if we go in and take a look at it it's also available at the mac apple store uh you can go in if you go into the settings you can see how many clippings that you want it to retain and how many it's going to show so basically it will clip multiple thing so if we clip if we copy let's just copy this line here and then a little bit later we'll copy this French line now when we go into copy clip we will see those two uh, those two snippets of text available to us now where this is really useful is when you're copying multiple things from one email to another or you've got somebody's name and address and their email address and then you've got some other text that you want to copy so rather than going back and forth to a document and copying then moving over and pasting copying moving over and pasting you can just copy multiple segments and then go over and then paste multiple segments using either the keyboard shortcuts or just clicking on exactly what you want to what you want to have pasted in so if we put this down and I use copy clip and we choose to paste this text here the the the, the translation again it puts it into the key the into the uh, into the clipboard and then you just paste and it puts it in and it publish uh, it, it populates whatever it is that you had loaded in to the clipboard so it still uses the one kind of chamber within the clipboard uh, but it allows you to load multiple different clips in uh, and that is a free service copy clip so pop clip and poppy clip did I say poppy clip? <laughs> Maybe that should be a new product. Poppy clip. That would be a good name for product. There probably is one. But I hope that you found today's video to be useful. If there, uh, I do have one or two favors actually to ask of you. The first favor is please subscribe to this YouTube channel. And the second favor is please subscribe to our newsletter. That way I can let you know about any upcoming events, tutorials, and webinars and trainings we do here at Dotto Tech. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.